Okay, this video is going to give you basics of vectors. So the vector is basically a pictorial way of showing something physical. So a vector might be a force directed at a certain area. Maybe I might be pushing down at something. It's going down in a direction at a certain amount of pounds. So the, the pounds in that case would be the force. That's your magnitude. And then also we have a direction. Which direction am I pointing it down or, or pushing it up? depends on uh, which direction it is. So that's basically what a vector is. It looks like this. So pictorially, we draw that as an arrow or an, an uh, ray starting from one point and ending at the other point. The first point is the initial point. Second one's called the terminal point. So you could label vectors with letters like this with P and Q, or you could label vectors this way where you just simply put a letter uh, next to it, like vector V and vector W. Now, if you have two vectors that go exactly in the same direction and they're the same length, then these are equivalent or equal uh, vectors. So they're only equal, they're equivalent if they have the same size, so same length, and also the same direction. So, um, so that's the first basics with vectors. Now let's take a look at a couple other concepts with vectors. Okay, the next concept with vectors is adding vectors together. So we're going to do this pictorially. Okay. Um, in order to add vectors, you have to add them tip to tail. So what that means is the tip of the vector is the arrowhead. We need to connect it to the tail uh, of the other one. That's the only way you're allowed to add vectors. Now, we do have two different ways that we can add these. So we're just going to show this pictorially, draw the result. I'm just going to do a, a rough sketch to show you the idea of how this works. Okay, so let's start with our V. So V, we're going to go ahead and draw like that. Now the W, we can either put the W down here or here. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and take this W and put it here. So when we do that, it looks like this. So there's the V and there's a W. Now what you do to show the result is you're going to draw a line from the starting point to the ending point. So you, you are allowed to have double arrowheads. You are going to have them, in this case, when you're drawing the results. So this is going to be V plus W, and that's our answer. Now suppose we decided to add them uh, differently. So here's another way you could do it. So here's our V, and this time I'm going to put W and attach it here. So if I do that, now it's going to look like this. Here's my W. And when I draw a line connecting it from the starting point to the ending point, notice that we get exactly the same answer. We have it going up and to the right. The length of this is the same as that one, so the, actually these would be the same. So, so I've shown that you can actually go either route. You can either go this way or you can go that way. This way is still okay because I'm still adding the vectors tip to tail. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter how you orient it, that, um, but the main thing is you have to put them tip to tail. So next, we're gonna talk about how do you subtract vectors. Okay, next we're going to talk about subtracting vectors. Now before we get to that, we need to understand this concept here. If we have an original vector that's given that goes up and to the right, and we want to change the sign of that vector, in other words, make it positive to negative or negative to positive, then the rule is we've got to reverse the arrowhead. We keep it at exactly the same slope or the same angle. We're not going to change that. All we're doing is simply reversing the arrowhead. So if we have W's going up, and you want to make it negative W, just reverse the arrowhead down and it goes that way. So that concept we need in order to do this. So the next thing we're talking about is subtracting vectors. Now, basically we don't actually subtract vectors at all. We're actually adding the opposite all the time. So whenever we put vectors together, we're actually always adding. It's just that we're turning one of them into a negative by reversing the arrowhead. So still, we have to do this by adding the vectors tip to tail. We're just saying that if we want to subtract this V minus W, it really is the same thing as adding the opposite. So this is how we're going to think of that pictorially when we uh, subtract vectors. So let's do one of the examples to illustrate this. Here's two vectors that they give you and V and W. We want to show V minus W. So technically what we want to show here is V plus negative W is what we want to do. So here, uh, first of all, I have to understand what uh, negative W is. So let me go ahead and draw that in right here. Okay, so that's going to have the same slope, so same angle, we're just reversing the arrowhead. So W is given here, that means automatically I know what negative W is. So now I have to add this and this together, and I have to add them tip to tail. 
Again, there's two ways of doing that. We have to make sure we add them tip to tail, which means I don't want to put this arrowhead on top of that arrowhead. They're both going together. That's the incorrect way. So the correct way of doing it is here, I'm going to go ahead and draw. Here is V. And then I'm going to take that one and move it right here. So if I move it over to here, then it's going to look like this. I have negative W looks like that. And then I'm going to draw a line from the starting point to the ending point. Originally, I started out here. That tip, I draw an arrow from the, the tail on this one to here. So when I draw that right there. This result that I get, this that I'm kind of darkening in here, this would actually be the answer. And this would pictorially represent V minus W. Now, of course, there is another way of doing that as well. Instead of putting it, attaching it there, we could also start with negative W and I could actually take the V and attach it here. And it doesn't matter, I'll still get exactly the same result when I do that. This is one way of drawing it, but again, uh, as mentioned in the previous video, our previous uh, example, there are different ways that you could uh, draw that. And it's listed in, your, in the, in the uh, notes, it actually shows you both ways that you could actually connect these together. I just showed uh, one way of doing it. The main thing is, again, you're adding these uh, tip to tail.